Welcome, Leo Virgo, to your mid-month reading for May. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay, everyone. I finally did do my guided meditation um, on my second channel. Um, if you guys are interested in that guided meditation session uh, with music, of course, um, go ahead and look down in your description area underneath the video, and it will have a link to that to that uh, channel, and it will literally say uh, "quick relaxing guided meditation." It's the only one that I have so far, so. Still a work in process, of course, because it's my first one. You guys know how that works. But I did take the intentions, right, of taking that action. I was called to do so, so I did it. Okay, so if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and go there. Okay. I'm still trying to get that 1,000 subscribers and those 4,000 watch hours, so let's do this, right? Okay, let's see what's going on, my friends. Getting back to the big tarot over here. What is going on for my beautiful friends? This message is coming out for the mid-month. Some kind of poor communication is coming through for you guys. I've had that for a couple others as well, so it's, you know, they're always kind of linking together. Um, so let's see what's going on here. Best messages. Why do we have some poor communication? It could be a lack of direction with communication. I really do feel it's communication, though. Yeah, definitely, it, it feels like this communication, whatever this communication is and this poor communication, is, is putting you in a lack of direction because it says that the chariot is in reverse saying, I'm because of this communication, I don't know where I'm going. Or maybe it's, I don't know what direction our relationship is going in. Take it how it resonates. It is a general reading. But no matter what it is, and it's lack of direction again. So whatever's going on with this is making you feel like you are stuck or you are now confused. I'm not sure which direction to go in. Um, right? Maybe it was... Or maybe it was bad news. That is a card of bad news. Um, so we'll bring up, you know, everything into play over here. I mean, maybe you, if you thought you were doing something and it didn't go through, maybe that threw you for a loop, um, right? Saying, okay, and it's causing some kind of conflict, mental conflict. It could even be conflict with them through poor communication, bad news. Um, but however it is, it does feel like you are feeling stuck. And I don't know where to go. Okay. Yeah, it definitely is some kind of message. So I'm going to say some kind of message of bad news. Maybe the message was poor communication. Maybe it was they messaged me and then they we ended up having poor communication. We couldn't be on the same page. Um, however it is, it's going to allow you to have a quick decision. And I do feel like quick decisions will be made. But I think that what ended up happening was that um, really what I'm getting out of this is whatever happened between this bad news and this poor communication that's leaving you with a lack of direction makes you say, uh-oh, now I don't know where, where to go. It came in, this comes in so quick in the mid-month. It comes in so quick that it's almost to the point where it's like, now I don't know, right? Now I need to make a different decision about this situation because now I, I'm, I'm not knowing where it is. It could be a love situation. But it's definitely causing a lot of, we have the conflict and now we have disharmony. So it's definitely causing some kind of disharmony within a relationship, okay? So it's definitely talking also about misaligned values, right? Like, I, okay, so let's go ahead and clarify what the chariot is here on the eight of wands. Yep, some heartache and heartbreak. So whatever is going on over here, there is definitely some upsetness, and it did cause that confusion. So really feeling like you do have the three of swords, um, right? This really did hurt. Because this is saying, you know what, now, you know, where am I going to go within this situation? It's something that you are really trying to take action on or they are trying to take action towards you and take it how it resonates, general reading. Um, but it is looks like something that it wants to build with this situation. I want to fix this situation. Um, but there's a lot of power struggle going on over here. Three of Cups.
What if I find the Three of Cups? Wait, hold on. It says, what's the worst happiness? Now all of a sudden there is this sadness. For some of you, they could have lost a job or maybe you lost a job, lost each other. Maybe someone lost a job and, it, you know, your husband or wife lost their job and it caused this, which does happen, right? It caused this, we're not on the same page, you know, um, but there is a lot of isolation and worry about the situation. And remember, whatever I say that doesn't resonate with you guys, go ahead and throw that away. It's meant for someone, not you, right? Um, you take what fits, um, but definitely whatever it is, someone is definitely feeling defeated within this situation where there was a lot of happiness. Whoever lost their job, I, I'm, I'm just going to bring this up really, really fast. Whoever lost their job, it does feel like we used to go out a lot. We were always going out to dinner, doing things like this. And now they're really feeling defeated, or maybe it's you, feeling defeated because now it feels like we can't go out and have that dinner. We can't go out and do these things. So it does feel like there is this peace that is lost. And it does feel like wherever the poor communication is that's coming in through this situation, it's almost like they're not, somebody is not seeing it the way you're seeing the situation, or they feel like you don't see it the way they're seeing it. Two cards of impulsiveness coming out together. Don't tell me they're not impulsive. Don't tell me someone's not impulsive. Someone is hasty with high expectations to really move, really get going, really get out there. And then it feels like somebody else is pulling the strings backwards, saying like you're too impulsive. That's unachievable, or that's not the way it works, or something. And it's, and I think that's where the page is coming from. And I just feel kind of like this: don't, don't tell me what, what to do, type of thing. Do you see what I'm saying? Like I, I will do what I want to do. But it's causing more further harm than it is good. So it's, you know what I'm saying, to the relationship from one side or the other. Because they're not, it's like somebody is not seeing the bigger picture to a situation. And so it's causing this misunderstanding with the high priestess in reverse. We got good news coming in. Hold on a second because it, it just, like, it's like the whole energy just flipped. It says, no matter what your high expectations are, don't worry about it in the end because rewards will be achieved. So whoever's high expectations, it looks like maybe they're on the right page. Literally, that's the message. Whatever your high expectations are, whoever is against that high expectation, they're wrong. Only for the fact that it's saying you will receive good rewards. Through the self-confidence and the way that you're moving through impulsively, you know, through impulsive, it could be you using that fire energy. Never say die scenario. God, you know, I think it's you. I think somebody's trying to tell you you can't do something that's so much your energy. That's so much your fire energy. Some people want to say it's arrogant. You know what? Let them say it. In its own way, it kind of is. <clears throat> but that's what it's built on. It's there for a reason. It's there for self-confidence. It's there for progress. I, I, I still say it's you. And I think somebody's trying to rein you in. And that's where we're having, this is where we're having the freaking issue. Now, that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that you're still not upset, you know, that this situation happened, whether you lost your job or whatever the hell's going on. It just means that I'm not going to allow it to, I just keep hearing never say die. I, It. 
that's it, guys. That's it. That's exactly what it is. And Spirit's already given the answer. They said, because you're using that type of energy, you win with the Six of Wands. I mean, it's like in, it's like Spirit just ended the... You know, this is made like a personal reading. Those of you who get personal reading, you know that's the way personal readings go. It's like they spit out something and then they spit out the answer. You know what I mean? They spit out the answer. Yeah, it's like somebody thinks you're like in fantasy. Like, that don't work like that. It's a fantasy. And you're like, no. Oh my. That's it. Because you have the strength card. The fire energy again. You have that inner strength, that focus, and you're saying, but just because it's going to be this way for this time, and we're going to have bad news, and we're going to have poor communication about the situation, that's not the way it works. Somebody else doesn't like that because they're like, you don't see it for the bigger picture. And they're literally saying that because they're trying to be the king of wands in reverse. Now, we know that the king of wands is someone who sees the bigger picture. But they're trying to say, you're not seeing the bigger picture. You do see the big picture, though. See, they're trying to put you in reverse when in actuality you're right side up. This is the big picture. But they're trying to say, you're just so impulsive, you don't see the big picture. They're trying to use your impulsiveness as a negative instead of the positive. This is you. Oh my God, that's so crazy. And yeah, like I said, it doesn't mean you're not down and out. It doesn't mean you're not feeling shitty about whatever the situation is it's what it is is you're saying i'm not going to allow this situation to kill me i'm going to focus on getting out of this situation but your loved one over here or this friend or whatever it is is saying they don't see the passion they don't see what you see if anything they don't see the big picture they're trying to say you don't see the bigger picture but in actuality it's themselves they don't see the purpose. They're lacking the purpose of what you see and what you're trying to obtain and what you're trying to attain, right? Okay. But it already gave us the answer. The answer is right here. You will have the six of wands. Wow. I don't even have to ask what the, eight, what the outcome is. Like I said, that came out just like a personal reading. That's more like a personal reading than, <laughs> than a general reading. <laughs> Excuse me. Abundance. All, I, all my needs are met above and beyond the greater expectations. And that's it. That was it. And Spirit says, because you will have the abundance. There's the six of wands again. Because it says you have the abundance. And, you know, it's crazy because I literally, this reading is saying you have the abundant mindset to get to the six of wands no matter what is being pushed at you deep down inside you know the truth and the truth is the strength card you know your own inner strength you know where your boundaries are you know you know what you knock me down off you know off my horse and i'll just jump on that horse like the fearless warrior I am. And I mean, that's literally what it's saying. And it's like, yeah, maybe you knocked me down. Maybe I screamed. Maybe I cried. Maybe I kicked. But doesn't mean, you know, but that just means I get on the horse stronger. But see, they're not seeing that. That's what's so interesting here. Why are they not seeing it like that? Does this person not really know you? Or is this a newfound thing you found within yourself that you're like, you know what? I'm not going to be like that no more. You see what I'm saying? So it makes me wonder, why are they not seeing you? as this warrior that you are. And maybe it's a newfound strength. I mean, we do grow. I mean, I remember there was times when I was younger, I mean, I kick, scream, and carry on so, and think the world was coming to an end. As we grow and get older, we realize, fuck. And yeah, it's like, leave me alone. I'm gonna go to my room so I can figure out what the hell to do, right? But then it, it grows and it builds. And I can see that this just feels like it's one of those building blocks where you're just like, I'm not gonna allow confusion to really, you know, I am in confusion. But you know what's crazy? The confusion is actually coming from you and this person. Not the situation of what the hell happened. It was more like, what the hell? Like, like why don't you see me for who I am and what I, I value and how I'm going to do something? That's where the confusion is. 
Because pretty much I see it as you're telling them, I'm a fierce warrior. I'll get out there and do that. And they're like, you're delusional. That's what I see. Take it or leave it. That's how I see it. I mean, you know, healing. That's what I said. Going into your room, going deep within yourself and healing and coming out stronger and stronger and stronger. And I just, I don't think they see you as, as strong as you are. Maybe they're looking at yesterday you, not today you. There's hell of a big difference. Can even be your parents, right? Who knows? Phenomenal healing energy flows through every cell of my body. You guys, get it. Get it. Okay. Okay, my friends. And that was it for you. Man, you guys just, like, surprise me every day. Wow. Awesome. And for those of you who are new, wow. Wow. Pat you guys self on the back. Good job, guys. Till next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.